Hi, my name is Matt Sanbury. I'm a journeyman carpenter here at Colonial Williamsburg. I've been here for seven years now. When we're, we're prepping for this building to go up, there's gonna be a series of steps that we need to take before we get to the job site. That, of course, all happens before this at the carpenter's yard. We have a wide open, fairly flat location to do all of our test fits. Every joint that we have cut in this building has already been tested. And so at this point, we're really just in the assembly stage. From that point, we're going to be able to, to position it where it's, it's closer to being raised, but not directly over top of it. We don't want to impact the holes. And so in this particular building here, it is a post in the ground building, has no foundation. Uh, 250 years ago, that was a fairly common thing for industrial buildings or storage buildings. And so a drying house like this is a perfect example of where you might see a, a post in the ground building. What we have here is a fairly delicate location to be building a building. We're gonna put that wall that we're gonna raise not directly on top of it, but just behind it. So the first thing we do when we get to that job site, once we have everything pegged and permanently fixed, is to pick that whole wall up and move it maybe a foot closer to the hole uh, and, and to the side. So now when you raise that building, it goes directly in the hole and, and as centered as we can. Uh, the first group of people, of course, are the people that are lifting or pushing, right? So you have to, of course, lift that building up before you transition to a push. Uh, so that's, of course, something that you're gonna see the vast majority of the people doing. There are a couple people on, on ropes, right? There's one that's going to be assisting with that raise. They're pulling that frame up, helping once it gets out of the reach of people's hands up top. Secondly, we have a break rope. We have a rope that's going to actually resist that. Of course, you end up with a lot of people that get uh, sort of out of position in their mind about how far they have to actually raise that wall, that if it goes past vertical, it might come down on the other side. And there's nobody stopping it except for that break rope. And of course, there's, there's a couple poles there too. They're called pike poles. Right? Those are also to assist when we get outside of people's ranges of, of reach, lifting that wall up. Uh, but uh, the other important group of people that you might be able to see close to the holes, they're guiding it with a board. Right? The last issue that you want to come into here is that if that post grabs the back of the post hole upon raising, it's gonna hit all that dirt and drag it under the post. So that now changes the height of where that post will sit. So as to not have that happen, we lay a board against the back of it and you can sort of guide or steer that post into the hole a little bit closer. But once you have the, the post down there, of course, everybody can relax a little bit before we get that bracing in. And that's gonna solidify it just a little bit so that we can start on to the next step. So as you see over my shoulder here, that's what we have. We have the long walls, what we call them. Uh, it's the front and back walls of this particular structure. We're gonna make up the now two end walls with what are called joists, so the outside perimeter of the building. So we're going to have our center posts uh, that go in between those two walls installed, and then we'll raise that joist up on top of it, locking in uh, now a, a rectangle. We'll put a couple in there in the middle to stabilize things before we can start shifting to the, uh, the rest of the, the flooring upstairs and then eventually the roof. Uh, so I suspect that'll happen tomorrow that we'll be raising up the trusses. They're already assembled. What we need is the, the false plates and then of course some joists installed uh, and, uh, and then some walk boards before we get that roof done. But um, this building shouldn't take us terribly long from here out. All the hard part's done. <laughs>